Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mirna over here, and you are at my channel Personal Studies. So this is going to be a small book haul. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So if you guys didn't know, on July twenty third, I had gone to India, and beside my house, I mean uh, near my house, there was a book fair going on conducted by DC Books. So I was like. I want to buy some books because it's been a very long while since I bought some books. Like I guess last year is the last time I bought a few books. Yeah. So I was like, I want to buy some books. So I bought six books, and I'm excited for all of them. Some of them I uh, I've heard of. Some of them I was intrigued by the blurb. So yeah. Without further ado, let's get to the video. So the first book I bought is because of Saheli from he in the from the channel Heli. So she, this is a favorite author, and that is Interpreter of Maldives by Jumpa Lahiri. She has been raving about this book since she started her booktube channel, and I've been very interested by this book. It's a collection of short stories, and I'll just read you guys the blog because it's very beautiful. Jumpa Lahiri's elegant stories tell the lives of Indians in exile. Of people navigating between the strict traditions they have inherited and the baffling new world they must encounter every day, an interpreter guides an American family through the India of the ancestors and hears an astonishing revelation. A young Midwestern woman is drawn into a tantalizing affair with a married Bengali man. The eccentric, nervous Mrs. Sen needs to learn to drive if she is to keep a job minding 11-year-old Elliot from after school. A young couple exchange confessions each night as they struggle to cope with the loss of their baby and their falling marriage. And Mr. Prezada, whose watch is always set to the car time, worries about his family back in Pakistan. Whether set in Boston or Bengal, the sublimely understated stories, spiced with humor and the subtle detail, speak with universal eloquence to anyone who has ever felt the yearnings of exile or the emotional confusion of the outsider. Juma Lahiri was born in London of Bengali parents and grew up in Rhode Island, USA. Her prize-winning stories have appeared in many American journals, including the New Yorker. Interpreter of, Interpreter of Maldives is a first published collection. So yeah, it's a very beautiful blurb, and I'm really excited to read this. It's it's much more an adult content. I feel so I'm excited. So the next book I hauled was Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn or. Gillian Flynn, I don't know. Gillian Flynn, I just said I was Gillian Flynn. Okay, anyways, so if you guys didn't know, I was a big fan of The Girl in the Train by Paula Hawkins, and I love those suspense, Mister mystery thriller vibes. I really love those, and that's why I'm a big fan of Agatha Christie books. So in this book, on the morning of Nick Dune's fifth wedding anniversary, he finds that his wife Amy has suddenly disappeared. The police suspects Nick. Even Amy's best friend confesses that she was very scared of him and that she kept a lot of secrets from him. Nick swears that it wasn't true. A police examination of his computer brings out strange searches. Nick swears that he didn't make them too, and there are also those persistent phone calls. So, what did happen to Nick's beautiful wife? Yeah, so. Let's find out what happened to her wife, his wife. So the next book I hauled, the most exciting book that I hauled. I wanted this for a very, very long time, and that is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Yes, at last I own a Harry Potter book. I'm so happy. Till now, I didn't own a single Harry Potter book. Nothing. I was a big fan of Harry Potter, but. I, I didn't own anything. I always read Harry Potter books from the library, and even borrowed from my friends. But at last, I own one Harry Potter book, and just look at this! Look at this beauty! Like ha ha ha, the glittering stars and the dragon, Harry, the eggs, and oh, look at this spine! Wow, it's beautiful. Just Ron, Hermione, Harry. Who could resist this? It was so beautiful. It was a bit expensive, to be honest, but I couldn't resist. I was like, I want this. It's so beautiful, and I love this illustrated version a lot. This illustrated cover, it's beautiful. Like, and also at at last we have this kind of Harry Potter fact file and all. 
and oh, it's beautiful i added up all throughout it and if you guys didn't know 30 31st july was harry's birthday also tk rowling's birthday and 30th july was my favorite character's neville longbottom's birthday and yeah i just had to own this and this is also my favorite book of all uh, uh, in all the series because of one character my dear cedric diggory i i just can't talk when i think about him i just can't i cried reading the last few pages i cried in my class what more do you need just read this if you guys hadn't read harry potter books till now you have to like it's a, a must in your life it's such a beautiful book yeah i've been raving about this book since my entire life to my parents to my villagers to my friends and first in fifth grade and all i was so intimidated by this book i was like i'm never going to read this and then sixth grade when i came to dubai i went to my library and there was the first time i entered a library and then i found harry potter the philosopher's stone and i found it a bit thin so it's like okay let me give a chance cuz my friend was reading it and yeah so i it was the best decision of my life i would say i can never forget this beauty and it's so beautiful like the cover is so beautiful every day morning i keep it in uh, like in front of my shelf showing the whole cover and every day morning when i wake up i i can see it in front of me and it just gives me hope a lot of hope so yeah i had to <laughs> so the next book i bought i have never heard of this book but when i saw it i was like i want to try it it's it looks like a beautiful book and also i've been loving uh war kind of books like i read the only war kind of book i read is i guess these by max zuzek and i've been loving those what is he those things in books so warlight by michael ondaatje i don't know i'm sorry but yeah when i saw the word war in this i was like i want this work so i just read the blur for you guys it is 1945 and london is still reeling from the blitz 14 year old nathaniel and his sister rachel are apparently abandoned by their parents left the care of an enigmatic figure named the moth they suspect he might be a criminal and grow both more convinced and less concerned as they get to know his eccentric crew of friends men and women who all seem to demand to protect rachel and nathaniel but are they really what and who they claim to be a dozen years later nathaniel journeys through recollection reality and imagination to uncover all he did know or understand in that time to piece together a story that feels something like the truth after reading this i understood that it's after the war not during the war but after the war but still i had to have it and also it's like um, it's good when you like go out of your comfort zone and pick books which you haven't heard before and that's what happened with me in this haul like i was planning to buy a few books in my mind but i got none of them and i bought a whole another lot of book which i was excited about to, to be honest another specialty of this haul is that i bought two books by two different indian authors and i'm so happy because i wanted to read a lot of indian books by indian authors and the only one i've read is um by chetan bhagatia and <laughs> I hate his books to be honest. Like I read a uh, half girlfriend first and I was like ah I just want to smack this book somewhere like I was so excited about this book but when I read it I was like it's so pointless so bad. And then for some freaking reason I picked up two states. I mean even though the book was bad the concept was a bit good. like it's different but still it's his story so yeah but anyways i was so angry by his work that i stopped reading him forever and i wanted to read some quality content by an indian author by indian authors and heli and manpreet and soumya helped me out to with these two authors and the first author is ashwin sanki so i bought keepers of the culture club by ashwin sanki I have seen a lot of comments in a uh, Manpreet a uh, Manpreet's video from the Indian booktuber like read keepers of culture plan all those and I was like 
okay let me also try it out like let me check whether it's good or not so yeah i'll read out the blurb again welcome back to the shadowy and addictive world of ashen swangi sangi in this fearsome tale, Sangi paints a world of people at war with one another in a boomeranging conflict of fates. Caught in this madness is Vijay Sundaram, a geek scientist who is only dimly aware that the world outside his laboratory is about to be savagely torn apart. Events conspire to propel Vijay into the labyrinth of Malaysian Labs, a research facility deep in the forests of Uttarakhand. What he stumbles upon is a primordial clue to a galactic secret that could accelerate the downward spiral of humankind. Trapped and wholly unaware of his actual foe, Vijay races against time to save humanity and himself. Zigzagging from Rama's crossing to Lanka to the birth of Buddhism, from the origin of Bah. Wahhabism, I'm sorry, Wahhabism, I guess, to the gravitational wave detectors of Lego, from the charnel grounds of tantric practitioners to the bespoke suits of the Oval Office, and from the frankincense shrouded rites of Minerma, Minerva to the dark ruins of Nalanda, keepers of the Kal Chakra is a journey that will have you gasping for breath, but one that you cannot abandon till all the pieces of the jigsaw come together and you come up come smack against an end that you simply do not see coming. Yeah, so I really want to read this book. I guess it's a series. It's the first in the series, I guess. So I'm really excited and the spine is beautiful. Like it's the white with the uh, white with the red it was a really good choice. I really love the spine. I don't, and a uh, much more beautiful and one of my favorite covers after Harry Potter. Narasimha by Kevin Missile. So I've, I've been hearing a lot about Kevin Missile books like uh, Kalki series. I've, I really wanted to buy that but it was not available over there. And and everyone is talking a lot about Kevin Missile's books. So I was like, why don't I buy this book? And also it's the first book in the Mahav uh, Mahavadar trilogy. So yeah, and I guess it's... Uh, it's, it was released this year or something but yeah I'm so excited about this book I started reading this book only a few pages like 10 or 20 pages but yeah I'm very intrigued by this book and also look at the cover it is so freaking beautiful like the details the Narasimha I, this is Narasimha I guess and yeah goes through and it's beautiful people it's beautiful. This cover is very beautiful and I'm really excited to read this book. So I'll just again read you the book, blur for this book. An avatar of Vishnu, an Asura king, a Vishnu buck, divided by fate, united by tra tragedy. Narasimha, once a brave soldier, has left the war and lies low as a physician in a village. But a familiar face from his past seeks his help to stop the tyranny of the blind usurper Antaka. If Narasimha refuses, the world might just end. What will he do? And why did he leave the war in the first place? Prahlad, the interim king of Kashyapuri, is torn between the ideals of his unrighteous father and his love for Vish Lord Vishnu. Whom will he choose? Hiranyakashyap. The ruler of the Asura Empire wants to avenge the death of his wife. To do that, he must go through the trials and get the ultimate weapon, the Brahma Shastra. But the trials have sent so many others to their death. Can Hiranyakashyap survive? Welcome to the reimagining of the fourth avatar of Lord Vishnu by best selling author Kevin Missile. So, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys it's a mythological book. And yeah, I'm really excited to read this. I've never read an Indian mythological book and I'm really excited to try it out, like to know more about mythological books and yeah. And also I have a lot of uh, friends who are Hindu who like at times they ask them stories about different things and I really love like knowing about those uh, th those mythological things like about Vishnu and Krishna and um, uh, more, more importantly, uh, Ganapati. I love listening about those stories and yeah, I'm really excited to read this. So that's it for my small but quite interesting haul. So yeah, I'll show you guys all the books I got today. 
like these are the books including this yeah and i'm so excited to read all these books like all of these sound so interesting and yeah it's been a very long time since i bought books so i was so excited to haul all these and yeah and all these books look so beautiful in my shelf and i'm so happy so i'll see you guys in the next video bye